Hi guys, my name is Miro and today I want to give you a couple of ideas for your art journal. I know it can be difficult to fill your journal, especially in these times. Now that it's October, I figured I might be able to help you. There will be a part 2 of this video because I have a lot of tips and tricks to share. My first tip is to recycle material. I use these beer coasters. You could also use a round canvas of course, but I got these coasters from the pub that I'm working at. They are also pretty great to decorate your room with. I use gouache paint from the brands Winter and Nielsen, Royal Talents and Artisa. I'm not sure if I pronounced them right. Um, I blend the colors beforehand so it's easier to work with them right away. To make sure I don't create stains on the table, I put a piece of paper underneath the coaster. For the sky, I mixed a cerulean blue shade with white and I made sure that I only blended the colors softly together so you're still able to see some white lines. I like this effect because it gives the sky a more realistic look. The great thing about gouache paint is that it dries quickly and you're able to add a lot of layers and details over time. This is why at first it's okay to just add shapes. To create a magical effect with stars, I grab a bigger paintbrush and with some white paint and water, I basically dab the brush softly so that the paint splatters on the coaster. And now it's time to add clouds. If you have never painted clouds before, you are able to follow what I'm doing here. You have to start with the lightest color and from there you will work downwards. Everything that is more close should be darker and it should have more details. You don't have to wait here until the upper part dries because the beautiful thing about these mesmerizing clouds is that you get to blend these colors together. This needs some work, especially if you're just starting out, but it's a really fun process in my opinion. I would recommend to not wash your brush in between adding more details here because I kind of like how the blue shade blends with the white shade. You are also able to do this by adding some water. Now it's time to move on to the second coaster. I add various shades of green onto the crest just to make sure that it looks more realistic. The sun will always shine on some parts of the crest and in relation to that some parts will also look darker. And here you will also notice more details when you look at the front instead of the background. So you should keep that in mind. I repeat the same steps here with the clouds. This painting is actually a recreation of a scene from a Studio Ghibli movie. I really like how it looks so summery, especially because I will paint sunflowers as well. I use a thin brush to add crests. I do this by drawing small lines in various shades of green. Just do what works best for you and it will probably work out. I did this before with a bigger brush as well but I would recommend using a thin brush since it will look more detailed and I overall like the end result more. I am painting a couple of white lines as well just to highlight the crests on some places where the light hits. I will paint the sunflowers now. I add a couple of leaves. When I paint sunflowers, I always add a couple of layers. I start carefully with one shade of yellow and once that has dried, I add a mustard yellow on top and to highlight some parts, I will also use white. This is where you will notice the effects of different layers over time. The middle part should always be a dark brown shade. With white paint or a fine liner, you can paint a dot in the middle to highlight this part. And this is how you can put them in your journal. I normally like to keep the pages clean, but I often write down a quote or some lyrics underneath the coasters. 
if you want to create more but you don't know what to paint you can look up inspiration on pinterest or perhaps you took a couple of great reference pictures that you can use now i will give you more ideas for your art journal this one is more or less inspired by my travel journal i will show you what you can make and how it's easy to fill up empty spaces on the pages with a pencil, I already sketched the outlines of pretty houses in Amsterdam. I am currently using a waterproof fine liner to make the lines stand out. I use a micron fine liner for this. It depends on where you live, but here in the Netherlands you can buy them almost at any art or craft store. They are also available in multiple sizes. Once I'm finished, I erase the pencil lines with an eraser. What I like about adding drawings to your journal is that it adds a personal touch and no one is really able to recreate it the way you are doing it. I know you're not able to travel a lot right now, but you can also document your neighborhood by drawing pretty places there. You can draw your school, the place you are working at, the grocery store or your own house and garden. It might sound lame to draw these places, but you will look at them differently once you start drawing details that you have never seen before. And it's also great to see these drawings a couple of years from now, perhaps when you're not living in a specific neighborhood anymore. For this journal entry, I grabbed some materials that I still had at home. I might not use everything, but I still like having options. In this part, it works just like a puzzle. It's all about reorganizing your stuff and figuring out where you want to place them in your journal. Of course, I already created the drawing of the houses, so I place that on top of the left page. And I add an envelope as well, since it's easy to put something in there. You can think of adding a receipt or a train card. Having these gift deck cards is also great to fill up space in your journal because they look nice and you're able to write on them. Perhaps you can add a to-do list here or your favorite music of the moment. And um, as I mentioned before, I would like to make a second video where I give you more ideas for your art journal. I think it's also nice to give you more specific tips on how it's possible to create different themes and how you are able to challenge yourself with different journal spreads. I also used a picture that I took myself and I often tear out pages from secondhand books just to give the pages a more vintage look and to once again fill up space. You can buy these books at your local library, vintage shops or secondhand bookstores or perhaps you will find them at a local market. I also added a dry flower by the way. And that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that it gave you a couple of ideas for your own art journal as well. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope to talk to you soon. Bye!